I've been going through something that a lot of people know nothing about. So I have fibroids and this is my journey to figuring out how I'm going to live with this or get rid of it. The only two options here are the hysterectomy and the myomectomy. I'm happy to say that you will be the first man I've ever brought into my gynecologist appointment. <laughs> How does that make you feel? How does it make me feel? Closer than ever. Closer than ever. So Aaron has been in constant pain. It has taken a toll on our relationship, but it's also, it's also brought us together in other ways. On my way to Dr. Rogers, office, I wasn't nervous. I was actually excited for the first time ever going to the OBGYN because I felt like I was going to get some answers. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Matt. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Not great. I was told I went to the ER and was told that I had fibroids, but I was leading up to that. I had no idea. Um, I've been in a lot of pain. Would you be able to take a look at them? Yeah, no problem. We can do a pap smear Let's do here, that first, yeah. And then we'll move you to the other room okay. where the ultrasound is okay. so we can check with the ultrasound. Because okay. I literally haven't had a pap smear in four years. I know it's very uncomfortable to go to the gynecologist. In the grand scheme of things, it's so fast. It's really quick and it's really one of the most important things you can do as a woman. Oh yeah, your uterus is big. Yeah, you have fibroids all over the place. Yeah, if you would have, probably if you would have gone to like the doctor in the last couple of years and they would have done an exam, they would have felt that and ordered an ultrasound. So I haven't been to the OBGYN in four years because I have been so busy with my career and that's no excuse and I'm never gonna make that mistake again. So that's a fibroid and you sort of have them all over. There's another one right here. What size is that one? Five or six centimeters. It looks like you have another little one up here and another little one up here. between the ultrasound in the emergency department and here, which shows that, yeah, you have multiple fibroids and they have enlarged the uterus quite significantly. If you've had friends who have been pregnant when they're about like four months along, that's kind of how big your uterus is. As far as the fibroids go, the most important question that I usually ask my patients is, do you desire future fertility? A definitive treatment would be removal of the uterus, but obviously, once you remove the uterus, you can't have kids. So um, the other kind of surgical option is uh, what we call a myomectomy, which is usually an abdominal incision, and you can actually dissect into the uterus and remove the fibroids. Is the myomectomy traditionally like the option for women if they want to have kids in the future? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. If if you desire fertility, but you also desire like definitive treatment, removal of the fibroids, then yeah, the myomectomy is kind of the way to go. So What's the recovery time for that? Anywhere from like four to six weeks until you're feeling like back to 99%. Mm -hmm. Okay. On my way to Dr. Rogers' office, I felt like he was gonna tell me all the different ways I could fix it and I was gonna get it fixed and it was gonna be A-OK -okay and amazing. After hearing the options that are available to women, I wasn't as excited. These options were just so invasive and dangerous and scary. I feel sad because, because everything I'd read online was true. That pretty much the only option for me is major surgery and I can't just sit back and be sad and just go through the motions. I want to be proactive and positive and find out if there is another option. We're going to get through it. And we're going to, we're going to get through it together. How do you feel? I still, I can't get over it. I think it's strange that there's only like one way to deal with this. And it seems like so invasive and um, 
I don't know. It just seems like there should be something better. This also says that uh, after a myomectomy that bleeding could be uh, uncontrollable and uh, that it may result in them having to do hysterectomy. This also says that there could be scar tissue yeah. from the myomectomy. What are the risks? <clears throat> it says, this is a Mayo Clinic. It says that the myomectomy and scar tissue afterwards can lead to difficulty with fertility. When the internet tells you that you may not be able to have kids, it really changes everything. I feel kind of inundated right now. There's so much information that I feel like I'm sifting through and none of it is anything that I want to hear right now. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Okay, let's, let's sleep on it. We started researching on our own and we saw videos that were very, very bloody and very invasive surgery and finding out about scarring and, and all the complications that can cause. And we just weren't comfortable with that. I live in a lot of pain and I've found ways to deal with it. It's not fun and it really sucks. But the hardest part I think has been knowing that I may not be able to have kids. I think that's one of the hardest things. When you get news like you may not be able to have children, there's a moment where you feel like those chapters of your life may be just taken from you. It makes you feel like, like you don't have a choice in how your life is gonna play out. I, I will say, I felt, for a couple of weeks, I felt, I just felt broken. I felt like this wonderful man who's so good to me. Would he have, would he have wanted to have married me had he known that I, that I was, that I was broken? So I was desperate to find another solution. Because I really wanted to give him that. Scott Fowler uh, was on The Amazing Race with me. He's an OBGYN, and he actually did some research for me. He's not sure about this procedure, but he, he thinks it might be an option. There are only a couple options, really, for you. The gold standard for women who wish to conceive is doing a myomectomy. Click to the left to watch my diagnosis, or click to the right to find out more about this series. For more information on women's health, visit womenshealth.gov.